Hello everyone, this is Joanne for Shimmers Paints. I am coming to you today with a scrapbooking layout, but also I want to quickly go through the May paper and color kits. And I keep saying this, but this is literally my favorite paper kits Shimmers Paint has ever put together. I am literally in love with this and I'm going to use every single piece of it. I can't, oh my gosh. Okay, look at the flowers and look at this detail here with like torn paper underneath it. And this is a matte finish and it's got even like torn paper over here in the corners too. Oh my gosh. This side is like a gray with some white bows. Look at this. This is perfect to tear up and make your own little layering like that too. This would be an awesome background. This side. Okay, beautiful florals. Let me get this close so you can see those super cute floral clusters. They're pretty, right? Okay, and then this. Look at that. I love navy scrapbooking collections. This is pretty. You can completely fussy cut these flowers. That would be very, very beautiful. Have lots of extra ephemera. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And this is another blue with some little white clusters. And this one is a shiny. This is shiny. This is a shiny. And this one and this one are matte paper, not shiny. Okay, this is shiny. I Oh my gosh. I don't even have any words. This is a little bit shiny. It's not super, super shiny. Look at that. This would be awesome. You could fussy cut those, and that would be a really cool border also. This would be, this is not shiny. Um, awesome background paper. I couldn't think of the word I wanted. That would be an awesome background. Look at this. Mm. This one is matte. Look at this. This is awesome for layering and stuff. Ugh. Let me bring this in close. Look at that. Ugh. Beautiful little teeny florals there. Then you get three dots. Those are beautiful. I love those too. And then here's a sticker sheet. And it's got circles, a postage stamp, a clock, a tag, teacups, hydrangea. Hydrangea is my favorite flower and this is the back of the ephemera. I always save that when I put my ephemera away. I am going to go grab it and pray that I do not spill this. I always put it out on a piece of paper so you can see it all. Oh my goodness. I, can't, I just can't. I love it. All kinds of florals here. And again, hydrangea is my favorite. But look at all the blue hydrangeas you get. <sighs> Some leaves. One, two, three, four butterflies. It's got a little bit of antique feel to it, too, with the picture. And look. Oh, my gosh. The books. I, I, I just... You could make a really cute planner spread with this collection, too, I think. This is a super cool piece of ephemera. Look at that. See how it's notched? It says happy, feeling, or showing pleasure or contentment. Isn't that neat? I think that's neat. I love it's got a little peach beige tint to some of these things, too. And let me get this. Yup. Kitty. <gasps> A little key frame this one is awesome and this is my favorite piece of ephemera ever of all time from any collection ever look at this camera with the florals I can't and then this is breakfast it's got a present with some tea and little um, cookies what are those cookies called macaroons so I can't yeah you know what I'm talking about anyways look at this envelope oh fuzzy Oh my goodness, come on camera. All right, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love this and this and this. Those are my favorites. Leaves. And then look at these. Oh my gosh, I can't even with this. Look at this perfume bottle. A heart with a locket so you could put this little key next to it. This is a circular frame, some hearts. 
So circle two, a bird on a branch, three hearts, today, smile, times like these, good times, best ever, make my heart happy. There are many things I'm thankful for today. But look at these, they have like the vintage, um, like steampunk look to it with the gears. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, definitely, definitely amazing, amazing ephemera in this. Last but not least, oh yes we do, we get a coloring page this month and it comes all black and white and I took some of the colors and started practicing on this, just A, so I could look at the colors and see what they looked like. But this is the best, you color it the way you want it and you don't need to gesso this. This was, it comes out like this on the back. It you, doesn't even soak through this paper, such high quality. You get all these florals that you can go ahead and paint yourself. You can use them black and white too if you wanted to. So let me show you this month's color kits. I have them all here. So for May, we have, okay, it's called the Burnished Buckle, and this is an in Inklings. Let me turn it around. Look at that. It definitely looks like a buckle, doesn't it? It's an inkling. So what that means is it's going to come as a salad and you're going to put water in it and let it sit for 10 minutes maybe and then stir it up and it has the coolest color pigments to it. Let me get my tweezers. So that I colored. Oh, I got stuck stuck to my tweezers. I colored these leaves right here with that burnished buckle. Very, very pretty. This is amazing. Antique lace and okay, look at that. <gasps> Can't. So I colored one, two, three, four different leaves. I wanted to be able to put different leaves in my clusters but as you see as I'm turning the paper you can see the sparkle in that because this is a shimmers which means that it has little sparkly bits in it so it's going to be really shiny and sparkly and then this is an exclusive color it's all is not frost which means you know all is not lost <laughs> and it does look like frost but you can use that all year round but that would look spectacular in the winter too and that's got a lot of shine in it so where did I use that I can't even remember oh you know where I used it I used it in these leaves right here but I also put a different color inside them too look at how pretty see the sparkle <gasps> I can't even with that. Okay, so that's Shimmers too, so it's got sparklies in it. Then we get a Vibes, which is amazing. I painted these flowers right here, and then I put some darker colors inside these with this Vibes. Don't rain on my parade right here. Super pretty. I love it. And then I use the lighter color underneath on all of these powder puff um yes please i love this color mm -hmm. yes so i'm gonna fussy cut some of these out and i think i'm gonna do a mixed media background today i've got a whole bunch of photos i was really excited to get this collection because I have these photos of me and my two best friends and they're all wearing blue so I think this collection is going to be perfect with this so let me figure out what I'm going to do I'm going to fussy cut these and then I will be right back okay my friends I decided to go with this picture of myself and two of my best friends well my two best friends I should say <laughs> I took one of the pattern papers from this month's kit and I'm just putting a little glue where you can't see through and I'm just going to put this on there. I backed my photo with two pieces of paper from this month's kit as well. Let me bring it in. I just used one of the really pretty navies and then that white and light blue stripe. This kit would be an awesome, awesome kit for a junk journal or something like that too. I think I'm going to make one. I'm not sure. I just, I, I love this kit. I had 
This piece of paper was scratched, so I put a bunch of the Shimmers Paints colors on there, and then I ran it through my die cutting machine. Look at the sparkle. Um, this is a Hip Kit Club die. This is a die from Timu, and this is from the Hip Kit Club, too. I'm sure they're all retired. I have no idea what I'm doing, what I want to do with this, I should say. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, either. <laughs> and... I'm just going to start tucking because I want to, to use these really super pretty florals from the coloring page that we got this month, that you get this month if you buy it, which I will link everything that I use below. And don't forget with Shimmers Paints, if you leave my name in the comment box of your order, you will receive a free gift from Shimmers Paints, which is typically an extra jar pod of paint, and that is very awesome to bulk up your stash. I just picked a bunch of things that I thought were pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not, but this is what I'm thinking so far. And then we have those pretty roses. I fussy cut it from the coloring page. That which I showed you earlier. This paper was extremely easy to fussy cut too. You know how some papers not so easy? Yeah, this was very easy. So I didn't mind doing that at all. Okay, let me see if that looks good. Maybe I want this this way. Okay, and then I don't know. We'll put this in here just love the colors in this kit and the colors of the paint too. All right, then I had a, everything stuck together, film strip, metal dye, and that dark blue paper. I couldn't resist using that. I don't know if that's where I want that, but I'm just playing, sticking stuff together right now and trying to see if it looks good. We might move things and we might say, hey, that looks pretty neat. Let's keep it. Don't know. All right, let me scooch that. Um, that's just too big. We're going to tuck that in a little bit. I like that. Okay, and then I'm trying to think, should I have this underneath like that or a top of that but underneath the flowers? That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try that. All right, I'm gonna start gluing things up. I don't wanna glue things down to the paper because I wanna put some mixed media behind everything. So I'll start gluing these things to each other here. Hopefully they all stick together and then I can just lift it up as one big piece and see if that works out. I just don't want to do too much glue and then have it stick to the background when I'm not ready for it to stick to the background. Now this piece right here, I love how that came out. It's so pretty. Okay, let's use Powder Puff. I love it. It's amazing. I just got um, inexpensive sponges from like the dollar store. And then I just cut them. No big deal. And I'm going to put some over right on my glass mat with this sponge. No gesso. Let me just go like this. And I'm just going to go like this. Very lightly, I am tapping. I kind of want the dot mixed media look on this. And then I'm going to come in and see if I like it. Oh my God, you guys. This cat, I can't stop talking about it. Okay. And the good thing about this is if you get a couple splatters here and there that you really didn't want somewhere, then you can just put splatters at the end and camouflage it. All right, let's see how that looks. And this is a darker color, so I'm going to be kind of careful with this to start off just to make sure I know what I'm doing here. 
like up in the corner very lightly very very lightly I'm barely barely tapping my paper okay I'm in love with that okay I like it I just wanted to make sure see I've tapped a little bit um, harder that time and it came out much darker which is okay I just don't want um, splotchy pieces on my layout I just want it to look like dots with a little teeny bit of brush stroke in it let me see and just go slowly and keep adding to your mixed media background as you go along there's no rush okay how do I love this <laughs> it is so cool you guys okay I want some more up here I want it to be a little bit darker yeah and I want some dark here like this so I'm doing the same thing except I'm pressing a little bit harder to make it come out darker can you see the difference okay good okay now I'm thinking I want a piece of this paper here somewhere before I get too far I'm just gonna tear this have all of this ephemera and these leaves that I um, use metal dies for. Sorry, I couldn't find my words. I'm just trying to think about putting some more leaves in here. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll look good. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Just kind of tuck it in there. Let me get my glue out. I'll just put some glue in some of this like that to keep it there and then if I didn't hit it and then I'm gonna go underneath here and put some glue in there and I'll do this and I'm just trying to be careful because with the mixed media background <clears throat> it does sometimes take a minute to stick because of all the water and the paint and so on and so forth. I think this is an empty spot. How does that look? That looks cute as well. Let me get underneath here with some glue again. The only thing about these leaves and such that's hard because there's so many little pieces I'm just gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue on all of the leaves and then just let that fall where it wants to fall. Hold it with the back of my glue bottle just so I don't have paint and such all over the place. All right, I've got four more of those leaves left, so that'll be good. I also want to get these in that came from the coloring page that I used the antique lace on because that color is beautiful all right here is this piece of ephemera and I just can't stop myself from using that what if I put some of these leaves underneath this it doesn't make any sense but that's okay as long as you think that your own scrapbook layout looks pretty doesn't matter right we'll put this here and then this one maybe this way let me look 
Maybe I should do it the other way. Put that that way. I love this metal die because one of the leaves cuts this way and it, the other one cuts that way, which is really cool. Okay, those leaves are just too big. So what I'll do to make it easier is just snip off a little bit. Take the backs off this. Maybe I can just come in like this. Okay. That looks cute. Now I can put a bunch of glue on that. And I just realized that for some reason I haven't used my tweezers at all today, which is super weird for me. All right, let me get this. I want to put this on foam too because this is. So that got a little crooked. I think if we just take one of these and cut it in half, it will be sufficient. All right, I'm going to break down. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I need my tweezers. Okay, one more. Put it right like this. <gasps> oh, I took the back off both sides on that one and my tweezers stuck to it. Okay, let's look. Right like this. Yeah, cute. All right, I just want to make sure this is straight. This one's a little bit darker. Maybe I could put that there. Maybe I could put another one in there. Oops. Yeah, that's cute. Might as well use these up, right? I mean, we did paint and cut these through the metal die machine so let's just use it okay I might actually put some foam square underneath these right here these so how does that look not so much but how about right here that I totally love okay so I think I only need half of one for this and these dots do come with it, their own little teeny foam square on them already but I like bigger foam squares so okay we have to get these in because yeah because I love the colors so let's cut that off put this in here yeah it glue just putting it on the little leaves like that. Okay, I'm just gonna let it be. All right, I want to get, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. I have a couple butterflies if we need them. So, I don't know what I wanna do. Maybe this one would look good over here. Let's see. I'm just gonna put it on top first and see if I like it. I do, but because of the foam square, I have to just snip the bottom off. Some glue. And again, I'll just tuck it in there and leave it. Let it adhere as it wishes. Let me see. Yeah, cute. Okay. Then I think we can get one more in here too. Not so much. That I like. Okay, let me turn this. All right, that's good. I really like this though. Hmm. <laughs> We'll save that for another one because I'm going to use this entire kit up. I know I am. It's so pretty. 
All right, so if we put this here, that'll bring some of that awesome antique lace color into it. Just like this. And then let's put this up here, but I don't know where. Hmm. How about a couple butterflies? Maybe just a couple though, because I really want some for the other layouts too. Okay guys, I went ahead and put some pink fresh gems down. It's these clear ones that kind of look like um, iridescent raindrops a little bit. And I'm, that's all I have left. I'm going to have to find some more. So I put them all around. And then I put a couple teeny, teeny honeybee stamp gems in the clear on the butterflies. And I put in the little ribbons on the piece of ephemera. I am going to do splatters in this awesome antique lace. I just love it. I'm going to grab my cup of water. And again, this one is a shimmer, so it's going to be super sparkly. And I've got a smaller paintbrush because I just don't want huge, gigantic splatters. But I do want it right on everything. And I would like my splatters to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to put some more paint in there. There we go. You guys, look at that. Oh my God, these colors. Can't stop talking about this kit. Just can't. Then I got looking at it and I love this navy, but it's the really the only place that there is navy. So I had a viewfinder metal die. This was a scrap from backing, um, this photo and since I'm going to tuck this I didn't really think it was necessary to metal die cut the whole thing out so I'm just going to try to get this in there so it looks good because you're only going to see a little teeny bit of it popping out anyways right so let's see if we can get that butterfly someplace good how's that look now I see I like that because now I have another piece of navy here and here, and I probably would tuck it in a little differently, but this is glued down, the butterfly is glued down. I don't think it's worth me trying to pull things up and potentially ruining the embellishment and or my background paper. So we're just not going to. Alright, I'm going to put some glue on here and hold that because of the mixed media background. Sometimes it takes a second. Okay, I think that's good. What do you guys think about adding that one little extra piece of navy to it? I think it's cute. I did a lot of splatters, which I totally love. So there is that. I'm just going to bring it close so you can see everything. This leaf came out really awesome because I just put a bunch of color on paper and just kept swirling it around and adding color and adding color. And then I just let it dry overnight. And then I, the next morning I was like, hmm, that came out pretty. So try that sometime with your paint. Just put a whole bunch of colors on some scrap paper and see what they look like the next day after they dry big big cluster over there but I love those splashes of the antique lace that are in it matches the ephemera pieces super super awesome and it gives it a nice little pop of that color in there too and I did the antique lace in the splatters as well and I just dropped that so there is that layout you guys I hope you like it sorry about the glare but I just wanted to be able to show you everything Okay, so I will put close-ups at the end for you to see. And again, don't forget to leave my name in the comment box of your Shimmers Paints order so you can get a free gift when you place your order, okay? I don't want anybody to miss out on that free paint. And I will link 
all of these kits in the description box below. If you have any questions about Shimmers Paints, do not hesitate to contact me. I'm always happy to talk to you. I hope you have a good day. Bye. Bye.